Hi, I'm Chris Powell. I'm a second year medical student pursuing an MD, MBA degree at McGovern Medical School in Houston, Texas. Uh, my goal in medicine is to pursue both the business aspects and the patient care aspects of medicine to be able to understand as much as possible about both hemispheres that contribute to the ultimate patient care experience and to eventually um, contribute to healthcare policy in a positive way, as well as treating my patients on an individual level as effectively as I can with the most empathy possible. Um, I've chosen a career in healthcare because I want to be responsible for patients uh, in the same way that physicians have been responsible for me. Uh, I was born with a right-sided MCA stroke as a kid, and so that impacted me growing up in that I visit, went to doctor's appointments all, all the time growing up. I went to physical therapy appointments and things like that, and so I understand many aspects of healthcare th from the patient side, and hopefully I can use that to contribute to my own healthcare um, delivery uh, by telling the patients that each patient that I understand that what they're going through, at least to some degree. Um, to be a second year medical student, it means absorbing as much information as you possibly can, as quickly as you can. Uh, the fire hose analogy of medical school is the most apt description that I've heard. Um, nobody can absorb everything completely, and that's okay, because med medicine is a team sport, and that means that um, all you need to do is absorb as much as you can as quickly as you can so that you can effectively deliver it when you need to. And everyone will contribute something to the team and not everyone will know everything. And the first rule of medicine is it's okay to admit when you don't know. Um, the impact that I want to make on the healthcare community at large is hopefully to improve that healthcare policy, as I've said. Uh, in 5, 10, and 15 years, I'm hoping to Further healthcare research, I'm currently working on a COVID-19 project related to cardiology, which is the specialty that I'm hoping to pursue in the near future. Um, in 10 years, I will be hopefully contributing further to those projects and working hard to fulfill my uh, residency or fellowship, depending on what stage I'm in at that time. And then in 15 years, hopefully starting a practice that is, based, that is centered around equitable, ethical, and equal healthcare in my practice and focusing on improving each patient's care as quickly as we can, as cheaply as we can, and as fairly as we can. Um, and so hopefully uh, that I've conveyed that I want to create a more equal system than currently exists now. Uh, what inspires me and motivates me is honestly what I've seen in the current healthcare community and what they've been able to do for me. I was very driven growing up by um, having parents in medicine as well, and so I've been surrounded by it from every angle. Uh, I'm very blessed to be here right now. My go-to pump-up song is probably Cinderella Man, uh, because everyone be should believe in a second chance. I'm currently running on mine right now. Um, something I believe, something that's surprising about why I chose this medical path is you might write me off as a, someone who chose the medical path because of their um, illness or malady, um, but I like to think of it that I chose this path in spite of my malady. Um, my goal is to use that as one of my abilities and one of my strengths rather than to consider it one of my hindrances. I want to move forward being able to express uh, empathy for patients based on the pain that I felt in certain situations and um, really to help patients see that the roadblocks that they see uh, are in some cases mirages and they can get through them without any difficulty. And so hopefully I can use that to the best of my ability. Um, in terms of how I take my coffee, I take it whenever, all the time, anytime. Black, um, oftentimes, and iced, oftentimes, because that has the more caffeine. Uh, one piece of advice that's been invaluable to me is similar to that mirage analogy that I made earlier. A lot of the um, a lot of the roadblocks that you face aren't necessarily there. And so looking past the roadblocks towards the ultimate goal is something that has really impacted my life. Thank you for considering me and uh, have a nice day everybody. Stay safe uh, and take care.